interconnected ocean, a vast blue expanse, critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond. This whale story is the ocean story, and it is one we all share. Good afternoon, and welcome to SeaWorld's Orca Encounter. My name is Chris, and I'm honored to introduce you to this intriguing and majestic animal. quite like seeing a killer whale yeah. up close and learning about them and their natural behaviors. We hope this Orca encounter will help give you a greater understanding of this magnificent creature and all that it represents. Iceland are quite different than those near Costa Rica. In fact, there are at least 10 types or ecotypes of killer whales. An ecotype describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle, but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. The fin on her back is called a dorsal fin, helps stabilize the killer whale as they swim. Uh, it can also help regulate their body temperature. Why are you saying? Why are you saying? 
what you say. The flippers on either side of the body, those are called pectoral we flippers. Are He's mostly for searing and stopping. And inside of those pectoral flippers are five bony digits, just like our even hand. And the lowers on either side of the tail, those are called flutes. The tail flutes are the killer whale's engine, propelling to speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. Wow. That's as fast as some of our speedboats. And killer whales swim the fastest and generate the most power when launching their nearly 10,000 pound bucks. Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. A morca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pod. And calls for group coordination and hunting. studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, cats learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killers use body language as a form of communication. Pectoral slaps can be used to show dominance or to get noticed. For example, a mother may use a peck slap to get the attention of her cat. Together to rear their young, protect their pod, 
and most importantly, pursue and catch their prey. Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy meal. displaced until you experience it firsthand. Luckily, I have a very brave volunteer who's willing to challenge the waves generated by these whales. What's going on, brother? Are you ready? All right, what's your name? Brave, come on down, Brave. I'm going to have you have a seat right here on this little box, and you're going to back all the way up against the glass. You ready? You look like you're having second thoughts. It's okay. Hold the water up. It's a very warm and toasty 54 degrees. So there's a little wave.
Porpoise Inc. is when the kill grass moves quickly at the surface, breaking out of the water just briefly. Populations. 
In another study, scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, took measurements of the killer whales living here, including pregnant whales. By comparing these measurements with drone footage of killer whales in the wild, scientists are able to monitor the wild population's nutritional and reproductive states. Other research has been done here at SeaWorld on the mother whale's milk composition. This research will help create an effective model to understand how toxins in the ocean impact wild killer whales and their milk supply. What we learn from the whales in our care every day is actively helping whales in the wild survive. And just by being here today, you've supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together to kill the whale, we can protect the future of the Orsayas Orca and this beautiful planet that we all share. Great for this amazing animal. Have a great rest of your time here at SeaWorld. Bye bye.